Right, I was just shouting out then. Hi world! Hi ponies! This is Sheila on the coastal path near a place called Braxton Ball, it says. It might be a bit further over. Burgundy Chapel's down there. There's a signpost that points to Burgundy Chapel further down. Um, there's a road running there. It's one of those B roads. And I'm going to go back and follow the track over there. And it's all very exciting, everyone. So I've got a feeling this is called Braxton Ball, this bit. It's somewhere you can drive up and park. It's good, isn't it, horsey? Nice to see you, horsey. These are Exmoor ponies, by the way, not horses. They're not to them. Um, you've got to be a certain height and hands to class as a horse, which is why I think the Quantock ones I see are horses, because they are very... They look like racehorses to me. They're massive. Right then, so we're following the coastal path signposted Bosington four miles. Now there is another rugged route down there, it's true. But what we need to do when you're first at a place is try and follow the main artery running through and then if you feel like it, you can always come back another time and try and do. That's what I've always done with the Quantox. I've done the skeleton outline. Right, I've just got to turn off in case this turn is funny. Back on again. It's just that I've got to keep saving. So, yeah, it's nice. I'm, I'm feeling really good. There's a couple of landmarks for me to see. Bosington, Bosington is a... A village full of history with a church that we could go and see. Then there's um, Selworthy Beacon. I thought we might be able to... If we don't get to do everything today. Because we're to go and see Selworthy Beacon. We've got to come off the main track for a while. And there is a lower path, by the way. Um, but I'm being directed mainly this way. Um, like I said, the rugged route would be one I would try another time. And it could be the rugged route, actually, is when I was on the salt marshes at Porlock. I could look over and I could see like um, a lookout post. I fancied doing that. But I don't know whether that will take me back that way today. Or whether that will be something I could do tomorrow. I could do what's called the bits and pieces tomorrow. A bits and pieces day. Where I can fill in any gaps I can't do today. And then... Thursday, I want to try and walk, not necessarily up Dunkery Beacon again, but I would like to explore some of the, some of the woods and, and the vales there. And that is all can be done from Porlock. Finding the entrances, finding how narrow it is. Because when you've got a van like Alberta, you need to have space. <sighs> yeah, so I'm jamming, I'm packing in a lot. I mean, I've got, in the winter, I can do separate trips to Dunster and Minehead because they are closer to home. They can be day trips. <clears throat> this sort of stuff, you've got to stay over here. You've got to stay over here. <sighs> no one in sight. Now, of course, I spent us different at the weekends. And when all the holiday makers were here, I spent this was busy. 
not that busy, but mind you. Right, over and out for a minute, got to take some photos. Right, I've just come off for a minute, diversion, to see this trench here. I think this was probably could have been something dug in from the war, you know. It looks like a trench that soldiers would have had up here. That's what I rent that is. I've just seen two old ladies and they are going, they're following the rugged route because basically from here you can do like a a circular path round. You could probably do a loop here, I think. Um, it's, it's difficult knowing what to do really when you want to do both, doesn't it? Because I had thought about doing that circular once. Um, yeah, that's the point I'm on at the moment where I've got to decide whether to go down there or carry on along here. That's it's around about here I am. You can go down there and do the ruggeder route. You're still going to come out down at West West End Brock something or other. Or you can do Bossington Hill. If I carry on this one I'll be able to do Selworthy, see? Then tomorrow I could actually do that bit. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided. Right, over and out for a minute. There's somebody over there. I just wait for them to go. Over and out. Right then, I've decided I'm not going to do the rugged route now. I might do that tomorrow. I'm going to stay on the main spine. I'm going to stay on the main spine. I've decided. Um, I just noticed a, a young man with a huge rucksack is talking to two old ladies I've seen. They were pointing him in a direction and everything. I mean, they might not be going far themselves. They might only be just going over there for a sit down and back. No, I don't. I think I'll stay up here. I can. I can see everything ahead of me. And tomorrow we'll do the bits. We'll do the bits. We'll see how far we get on doing this way first. Because I want to do Bosington Church and Village and all that. So I think there'd be no point in him asking me anyway, that bloke, because I'm learning myself. <laughs> All I know is a good idea to have views ahead of you that you can see. And um, then you can delve another time, delve. I think doing this is the best way at the moment. <coughs> yeah, I reckon that'll take you down steep. You'll be up and down like a yo-yo if you go over there. I'm going to stay up here. I'm just going to turn off for a minute. I see cows ahead. That could be some sort of beacon up there, couldn't it? There's a car park there. Cows sitting down. People following behind me. Oh, they've gone now, those people. They've all gone. He's gone without them then. Oh well, he's coming back. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to stay up here. Overnight, there's someone else coming. <laughs>